Hey guys, it's Pulsar, and today we'll be showing you how to defend lobby and press on consulate. You're going to want to have Maestro, Wamai, Valk, Vigil, and Smoke. So, first off we have Maestro. As Maestro, you're going to want to come into the bathroom here, and you're going to reinforce this wall and this wall. This is a two double wall, and you want to make sure you have these reinforced. I would just do it on Maestro. Second, you're going to come over here into press room, piano. Like A lot of people like to call it piano because of the piano here. You're going to break these chairs in the corner, and you're just going to set up your Maestro cam like this. This looks like a pretty default setup, but what's so good about it is that you can break you can break this part of the piano by shooting it a few times. And after I do that, you can go in your maestro cam, you can look through it and you can see all of the site. Your other maestro cam is going to be over here in lobby on this circle table facing towards the double door. And then the reason why this maestro cam is so good is because it's like the most default plant um like ever so ha keeping this alive keeping this maestro cam alive is really important so you can see plants here and then also this press room maestro cam is so good because you can see this complete entire site you can see partially in the antechamber and you don't have anyone playing in here so has a lot of uses. Smoke in this strat is going to have a lot to set up because as you guys know I like to have smoke in every strat because he's just so useful utility wise and he's got a shotgun he can help you prep a lot. So as smoke you're going to want to reinforce this wall right here that I just shot. You're going to set up your deployable shield like this so that you can play behind it and this wall will help keep you safe. You're going to want to reinforce this single wall in the bathroom and you're going to come over here to lobby, shotgun this hatch, and you don't have to do this exactly in the order that I do it. You can probably find a faster way. You can, you got to shotgun this hatch as well. And after that, or before that, you got to go here to this fan and shotgun a few holes in the floor, like something like that. It doesn't really need to be big. It just needs to be so that the person playing above can see through it. And so the use of your smoke grenades will be mainly focused on this, obviously, right here for the main, uh, for the lobby plant, which you'll probably want to focus your smoke grenades mainly there, unless you know they're pushing in at the bottom of yellow at this door, and you have the deployable right there to throw your smoke safely. And uh, yeah, what's so good about this threat is that you're gonna have a deployable shield here to throw your smoke safely, and you're also going to have the deployable shield here that will my sets up to also throw your smoke safely. So this threat is really just all built around smoke and using him well. And lastly, the reason why you have these reinforcements all in bathroom is because Maestro has to have a safe place to stay and like watch cams. Make sure he like doesn't isn't in the line of sight of this window right here. And that should help you win the round. After Maestro, you have Wamai, and as Wamai, I would recommend you take your deployable shield. You can set up your deployable shield right here on this corner, so that you can sit on it and see if anyone's coming from the main lobby door. Watch out for that plant. And next is Wamai, you're going to want to reinforce this wall right here, and you're going to reinforce this hatch right here, so that something like this isn't able to happen. And <laughs> moving on from that, you're going to want to throw all your Wamais somewhere here in the front door. So one there, one there, somewhere on the side. And these are useful so you can burn any frag grenades, stun grenades, smoke grenades, ash charges. It can help you keep this maestro cam alive and it can stop anybody from trying to smoke or do anything into sight. Last two people for this threat are going to be Vigil and Valk. And I'm going to talk about those two together because they're going to be doing relatively the same thing. So those two are going to be playing upstairs. Valk is going to have her cam set up. I'll show you camp spots in the next clip. And these two are going to have to reinforce this whole wall. So Vigil 2 and Valk 2. This is a 4-4 four, four wall. And you're going to have to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Reinforce this to keep yourself alive in meeting room. And what you're, what you're doing as Valk is you're going to be peeking these holes and watching your cams, keeping yourself alive. Maybe having this door barricaded right here. But you want to stay alive and try to help your team deny a plant from main door. And also you're going to want to play off this hatch and make sure that no one can come into the back of lobby. And 
Also, this hatch here is going to be open so that you can potentially play it and drop into it if your team needs help in sight. Hello there. So as Vigil, you're going to want to make this rotation hole right here so that anybody pushing is going to have a hard time pushing the Valk from CEO side. Yeah, and so Vigil, what he's going to do with this, screen, with this um, rotation hole right here is he's going to be watching console front desk. He's going to be watching it through connector and through console office. Yeah, and what's also very good about this is the hatches. The hatches are very key. It's not important to just look through them, but if somebody dives down there in sight, let's say smoke or Wamai, or you guys are getting pushed like extremely hard upstairs, what you do is you just go like this. Drop in the sight, you're safe, hide, and now you've got people alive, you lost your upstairs control, but you're still alive, and you're still able to kill people, which is really important when you're playing as a roamer. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I just want to give a special shout out to my subscribers. I see you guys in the comments section and thanks for supporting me. And for everyone else, I'd appreciate if you checked out my channel. I upload weekly R6 content.